Tonight, we take a moment to honor one of our own Local 10 family members, Michael Putney. Michael announced in mid-October it was time to put down the microphone, step away from the camera, and start enjoying retirement with his wife. Join us now for a look back at his early life and career. Born in the New York City borough of Queens, Michael Putney comes from humble beginnings. My family was poor. They were rich in knowledge and love and erudition. I mean, everybody was extremely well educated and valued education, made sure that my brother and I went to school and got a good education. When he was just a year old, his parents moved Michael and his brother back to their hometown of St. Louis. During those early childhood years in Missouri, Michael expanded his passion for reading. I used to, in the summertime, ride my bike to the library in Kirkwood, Missouri, and get a bag full of books and take them home. But in 1956, his father decided to give up his job in social work and become an Episcopal minister. Like seven previous generations uh, in his family had been. That decision took the family further west to Berkeley, California, where his father attended seminary. I loved it. I mean, it was a fabulous, smart, quirky, strange, and very liberal place. With his family's limited finances, Michael knew he had to figure out how to go to college on his own, which he did at a very early age. I was 16 when I went to Deep Springs College. It's a small, non-denominational men's college right on the Nevada-California border. And the whole idea of Deep Springs is self-governance. The students ran the college in many ways. And so I think it was there that, I mean, whatever I have done throughout my career in journalism was really spurred by what I learned and believed at Deep Springs. His career in journalism started as a radio reporter at a small station in Columbia, Missouri. The station owners also made Michael a news director and city editor of the local newspaper. Uh, I'm proud of that era. It was, uh, it was great. But then I wanted a wider world. I wanted to play in a bigger league. And that bigger league brought several years of crisscrossing the country as a print journalist for major publications and an offer that ultimately brought him right here to South Florida. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we take a look at how that move led to more than 40 years in local television news. But today is not Michael's last day on air. You don't want to miss his last day at the helm of This Week in South Florida this Sunday morning at 1130 a.m. What a life he's lived. We're going to miss him so much. Oh my God. I know. <laughs> Election night, especially, but just all the days yeah. in between. He's the only newsroom neighbor that I've had from the old building to this building. And um, I would put his Rolodex up against, I know we don't use the word <laughs> Rolodex because we have these now, but I would put his Rolodex up against anybody anywhere in the country this year, last year, 20 years ago. He is the best. I'm sure he's going to miss you very much. Oh, my much. God. Uh, the conversations. Uh, <laughs> some that we can talk about, some yeah. we have to have a little wine to talk about. But, anyway. uh, no, and he's, well, he'll be here on set with us at 6, and so we we'll see him in a little bit. Yeah, he, 